Alright. Oh, goes. oh. And now we've got Brittany Griner going after. Is she running too? This could get ugly. Griner the ref is being bow. by numerous players and now trying to throw punches. Look, y'all, so I kind of felt bad that the WNBA they really doesn't get that much, you know, respect. They don't get that much publicity. To be real, nobody really watches it like that. You know, then the news complaining about the wage gap and how they're not getting paid enough. I think they're making like a couple hundred thousand. Like, like the top players making like $200,000 a year. Like, it's, it's crazy for them, man. But I think that if they want to get their ratings up, they got to do a couple more things. Number one... They gotta get the grassroots level a little bit more interested and involved in the women's game. They got, I guarantee you, a lot of these, a lot of these girls that are coming up in the middle school, high school system, they don't even know who most of these players are. That's number one. And then number two, honestly, they should lower the rim to nine feet. Lower, lower the rim to nine feet so they can start dunking. Because I guarantee you, a lot of them will start dunking, and the game will get so much more interesting. So much more interesting, bro. So much more interesting. But today, I wanted to react to the WNBA fights because if there's one thing that the world loves, it's toxicity. As much as we don't want to admit it, we love being toxic. So let's watch some of the best WNBA fights compilation. Now, I see the Mercury and the Wings already on uh, uh, to begin the video. So I already know Brittany Griner gonna be she gonna be involved because she six foot eight, six foot eight. You know that's I'm not yeah. So let's just get into it. Wally, shot clock at three and two. Turner reaching in. Alicia Gray three. from behind the line. All right. And down it oh, goes. oh. And now we've got Brittany Griner going after. Ooh. Is she running too? This could get ugly. Griner the ref is being by numerous players and now trying to throw punches. Agler now is Bro. being pushed the ref. on the sideline on the press Bro. row. The ref who are good four or five inches shorter than her, but holding her back. But then you know, tall people really not that heavy. So and now still going after it and trying to be restrained was Anigwe. You know, we talked about the easygoing attitude of Brittany Griner. She's had enough of it. She's had enough of it. Brittany was ready to box. All right, let's help calm things down. But Brittany Griner on her bobblehead night. I remember when she was at Baylor, bro. I think she punched some girl, bro. Like, she got suspended because she punched some girl in the face, bro, in the middle of the game. Like, she, I think, I think they were playing, like, Texas Tech or something like that. I don't remember what team it was, bro. But she punched some girl in the face in college. That shit. That's when I first found Brittany Griner, bro. That shit was wild. She has a wicked look on her face right now. She is ready to box. Yeah, she's, 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 she got violence on her face, man. Hug. Brian Agler was being smashed against the press table. As this breaks yeah. out in the fourth quarter. Gotta go. A hotly contested game. Damn. Brittany Griner now being led back to the locker room by Jen Gillum. And they're clapping for her. Definitely some, some contact down below. So there you can see Anigwe being boxed out by Bonner. Bonner... Or excuse me, by Griner. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Up. It was just getting into there. there. It was, it was playing hands. Up, and you see in, in league way pulling away. Before. Nine seconds left. Yeah, All right. We know what that is today. We got here. Okay. Playing the clock out. Okay. Land Deladon. Okay. Step back. Oh. Oh, oh. Was that Candace Park? Oh, shit. It's just pushing with them, bro. They just be pushing. They just be pushing, bro. This is why I'm saying, like, lower the rim to nine. Y'all got to think about this. Candace Parker is six foot four. You lower it to nine, she hanging on the rim, she posterizing people, bro. Tell me, tell me that the ratings not gonna go up after that. And you got the NBA players backing them too. The ratings gonna go up. 
if y'all want to get paid the same, y'all got to understand, like, like the whole wage gap thing with the WNBA, it isn't that people don't want to see them get paid, because I do, but it's like, if y'all not creating the revenue, if y'all not creating enough revenue to, in, in, in order to pay y'all that, that amount of money, y'all not going to get paid. The, the the NBA is a billion dollar company, bro. That's a business. Like that's a billion dollar business. So so like so like they so like they can afford to pay their players two three hundred million dollars. It's just that's simple logic, bro. That's that that that's simple logic. Like people people don't even know some of the top WNBA players around like like, like in the sports world. Most people, I guarantee you, most people can't even name every WNBA team. Like we gotta like the, like their marketing of the of the of of the league gotta be better, bro. And the fights, hey man, it's part of the game, but it's just pushing. It's just pushing. See, in the in the NBA, you got be. I mean, you got niggas throwing punches. You, I remember when Rondo punched Chris, uh, punched Chris Paul. You got it's like it's like it's like in the NBA, bro. It's 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 a lot more toxic. It's a lot more toxic. See, the women, you know, they kind of keep it a little bit classy. I respect it. No, but hey, man, the league is young too. It's like a, I think it's like what, like 20, 20 like twenty seven, twenty eight years old, something like that. It's a young league, bro. So they're gonna get there. And she was not feeling that, huh? Damn. Oh, this is a throwback. Y'all remember when ESPN had this layout, bro? When they had the layout, bro. I missed, I missed these days, but that's how it was when we was growing up. Oh! Then he threw it to the ground. Huh? Oh, it's Candace Parker again, huh? Damn, she grabs. She's like, I'm, she's like, I'm, she's like, I'm already going down. So you coming down with me? I'm going down. Once Petrovic stepped over there to position. Then you got Phoenix again. Damn, Brittany. Oh shoot. Damn. Oh my goodness, this is getting. That's it. Hey man, the WNBA. Look man, like I said before, the league. The, these fights were kind of weak. I ain't gonna lie, it's kind of weak. It was just pushing and chasing. It's it was basically just Brittany Griner and a couple other people. That's all it really was. Just Brittany Griner highlights. Uh, but hey, the league. As time progresses, they're gonna get better. I feel like. They'll start making more money as time progresses because I feel like I feel like I feel like the NBA players are definitely backing them, which is which is good to see. Um, but them complaining about how much they're getting paid and stuff, that's not really gonna make a difference. It's not. What y'all really need to do is start marketing the league better. Like start 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 on a grassroots level with these middle school and high school girls coming up playing AAU and stuff like that. Cause most of them don't even know who y'all are. So, you know, and as time progresses and, and, and they start having that connection with y'all, I mean the league popularity gonna grow, and we and, and you got all these NBA players backing y'all. So I feel like I feel like with I feel like in due time the WNBA will definitely get where it needs to be. But these fights was weak as hell. All right, this week is fight, weak, weak as fuck fights. It was just Brittany Griner and a bunch of other girls. So whatever. But that's it. I'm gonna leave it there. Make sure y'all like and subscribe. And I'm gonna catch you on the next one. Peace.